Hi, this video is the AutoPad Tron Proper Solution Surgery using the FDD method. The patient had a, a micropigmentation done a year ago, uh, which left him a, uh, just a blue color. In the photo, the uh, micropigmentation looks good, but then in real life, what, you know, the ink on your forehead uh, is, is abnormal. Um, people can pick it up right away because it's not 3D and you know, all stuff. So I drew the line across by you look at it. You can tell. And there's a straight line across but then the two different colors. And you know the ink it'll turn blue through the year. And um, it will not look, look natural. Um, so the best way to, to fix this is really to put hair in it and to hide it. <coughs> and now, you know, micropigmentation tattoo, uh, when I support it is when you have a scar in the back and you need to fill the dot of ink in the back. When it blends within the hair, it hides the scar better. But you don't want ink on the bald spot in the frontal area. There's contrast between the skin and it's not a 3D thing, it's a, you know, it's a flat. Um, people can't figure it out right away, it's not, you know, a hair and it's just tattoo and it's not a very uh, good. And uh, in, a, in addition, the uh, color fade, it will turn green, and uh, it, it doesn't look natural, and people will, will notice that. So I'll go today to do at least 2,000, 2,500 grams <coughs> to build the front half. So 2,000 tend to be around a band of this, around an inch and a half. Uh, 2,500 will hit toward there, just depend how big your head is. On the temple, it's around... 200 grams each side, sometimes 150, sometimes, depending on how big it is, could be 300 per side. Um, so a total roughly around, uh, on a temple, on the side, half of your head, uh, roughly around 2,800, 100 to 3,000 grams. Uh, but today will be a temple at least 2,000, 2,000 uh, could be 2,500. Uh, and uh, this client flew all the way from uh, Minnesota for me to do. We're going to do the FUE method. And the FUE is more popular among black men um, who like to wear their hair shorter because they have you leave tiny dots of scars scattered throughout the map like mosaic pattern allow you to wear your hair shorter. The strip method will leave you a linear scar running from one ear to another ear. <coughs> and the, the, the sh linear scar is very visible. People can spot you from a mile away and a lot of people regret it having the strip method. It's especially for black men who like to leave their hair short. Now, other ethnic guy, if you leave your hair long, the strip method works well too. And, and I recommend the strip for the guy who lost all the hair, class 5, 6, and lost the pattern. You need to move five, 6,000 in a day. And the strip method is best to do that. The FUE is the more advanced and least invasive of the two, but it's better for mild to moderate hair loss. You need to do 2,000, 2,500. On average, I do 2,500 grams a day max. There are days I have to go beyond 25, 3,000, or even 3,500 grams. I mean, 4,000. But Anyway, so once we get the uh, shape down, it's already there. We, you know, basically try and find a rose and rose single hand graph in the front, followed by root two hair, three hair, and four hair graph with broken volume. So this is the auto hand transplant restoration surgery on a patient who had a micropigmentation tattoo, uh, and we'll be attempting using the FUE method. Uh, the benefit of FUE leave you, both methods leave you scar. FUE leave you tiny dots of scar thousand of dots scattered throughout the back, but the dots are small, they allow you to really shave your head short. Some to, some to one, two, or three, depend on the individual. On a rare occasion, you can shave with a clipper with a scar, uh, but the scar is always there. The, the linear scar of the hair transplant strip method is uh, more visible. And uh, thank you.